The film begins in a prison with a chained prisoner. When the soldiers arrive, they open the inmate's door and drag him to the balcony. All of the residents can be seen yelling at him and calling him a murderer and a bloody monster. The jailer orders that a guard declare his vengeance. The guard announces in front of the crowd that the court has punished him to death by hanging in two days. However, before he is hanged, the executioner will break his hands and feet, and everyone is giddy with delight upon hearing it. The story now shifts back to a few years ago, when we see a view of Paris Fish Market, which was the most dirty and smelly area of the city. People were making their living by selling meat and fish. Here we see a fish seller lady giving birth to a dead child, and this lady had previously bred four dead children, which she then throws into the stream with the rotten fish. However, she has now given birth to a living child, but, believing him to be dead, she also throws him into a stream. The child now begins to cry due to the smell of rotten fish. When people noticed him, they began abusing his mother. This is the same child as the prisoner whose punishment was announced. His name was Jean. He possessed two qualities. First, he possessed a perfect sense of smell. Second, if someone leaves him, that person somehow dies. His mother, who had thrown him out after his birth, was sentenced to death. And Jean is sent to Madame Gulout's orphanage, where she used to foster children for money. However, the children in the orphanage feel insecure about their importance, so they attempt to murder Jean. But Gulout saves him by coming there and beating those children. Because of difficulties in the orphanage, Jean was unable to speak for five years. But he knows everything because of his sense of smell. Due to his orphanage's limited capacity, Gulout sells him to an animal skin collector when he is 13 years old. As Jean is leaving, some robbers kill Gulout and steal all of her money. Jean's buyer appreciates Jean's hard work. He also takes him to the city, where Jean first experiences the wonderful world and scents after emerging from the odor. After leaving his luggage, Jean is attracted to a perfume shop. He looks at a shopkeeper who is holding a well-known perfume. Simultaneously, he feels another scent emanating from a fruit seller girl. Her beauty has captivated him. The girl gives him fruit because she thinks he's hungry, but Jean grabs her hand. On it, she leaves the place feeling fear. But Jean finds her using his sense of smell. He sits behind her backside. The girl suspects someone is watching her from behind her back, and she screams in terror. Jean, on the other hand, closes that girl's mouth to avoid drawing attention to herself, so the people may not gather there. As the crowd disperses, Jean pulls his hand out of the girl's mouth, but she was dead and her scent was slowly dissipating. Jean gets worried that where has the smell disappeared? Let's move on to another character, the great perfumer of Paris named Baldini. And, with the arrival of new perfumers in town, his job had been eliminated. He used to try to impersonate the other perfumers. Jean returns to Baldini's shop the same evening to pick up the goatskin, and he observes the wide range of perfumes available. After smelling Baldini's body, Jean says he can make such a perfume for him, and Baldini scoffs at him. Jean informs him of the strength of his ability. Baldini believes in him and gives him a chance. Jean creates perfumes and gives them to Baldini, who detects the aroma of love in them. This perfume was the most well-known, so Baldini was taken aback. When Jean notices this, he assures him that he can also make the best perfumes ever. Baldini misses his beloved, who has a lot of talent, as he smells it. Baldini has now bought Jean from Grimmel. On the same night, the drunkard Grimmel drowns in a stream. Because of Jean, Baldini and his perfumes have become well-known throughout Paris. He also instructs Jean on his own perfume-making methods. He informs Jean that each perfume has three sets, each of which contains four scents. It means that there are a total of 12 scents that humans can easily distinguish. Otherwise, no man in the world can match this perfume unless someone creates the 13th perfume. Jean gets emotional about it because he believes he will be able to make it. And he requests that Baldini teach its process, promising to provide the best method in the world. Baldini describes the process of putting 10,000 flowers into a bottle using his custom-built machine, which he learned before arriving in Paris. One day, Baldini finds Jean crying. When Baldini inquires about the reason, Jean calls him a liar, claiming that his stated method is ineffective and outdated. I was unable to capture the iron and glass in a bottle. Jean loses consciousness as a result of Baldini's incident. As Jean becomes ill, Baldini becomes concerned about his fame. Jean asks Baldini about the other processes, and he tells him about extracting perfume from animal skin fat. Baldini instructs him to travel to Grasse. In exchange, he asks for 1,000 formulas. Jean learns about the job in Grasse from Baldini. As Jean walks away, Baldini's house is smashed into dust, killing him. When Jean travels to Grasse for the first time, he experiences a sense of freedom for the first time. He was not a slave to anyone and could make his own decisions. There are now two routes to Grasse, one through the village and the other through the mountains. He is now passing through the mountains. On the way, he notices a cave and decides to rest there. 
He falls asleep peacefully after spending several days there, and he once dreams of the fruit seller girl. As he awakens, Jean begins to smell his body, but he does not detect the odor of his own body. He realizes he doesn't have his own smell while showering in the rain outside. The next morning, as he drives to Gras, he detects the same fruit seller girl's perfume. He notices the most beautiful girl getting out of the carriage. When he notices this, he pursues her and travels to Gras. He enters a palace owned by the Gras's richest man, Rick is, on his way to follow this girl. Laura, the adorable girl, is his daughter, who is the most beautiful lady in Gras. Jean works for a lady whose husband keeps a tight eye on her. While living in their company, Jean learns how to use the two methods for making perfume from animal fat. He uses the first technique on his female co-worker. He tries to boil that girl's dead body in a tank with animal fat, but he fails. In the second phase, he takes a streetwalker and glosses it with animal fat on a cloth. Jean shaves that girl head after killing her. He also wraps her dead body in cloth after glossing it. And he succeeds in extracting perfume from that linen using the process described by Baldini which he tests on the streetwalker's beloved dog. Then he creates a series of 13 bottles based on the story told by Baldini. It means the murder of one girl for every bottle. All the girls and boys at Laura's birthday party play hide and seek. Jean, seeing an opportunity, arrives and attacks Laura. But she survives, and the twin girls from the party disappear. Now we know that Jean made the first two bottles of the set, killing these two girls. Both of the girls' bodies are seen floating in the river under the city's bridge. After that, a series of murders of young women began around the city. Terrorized people begin to lock their front doors in order to save their daughters. However, Jean makes the 12 bottle sets and mixes them all together in a large bottle. He now requires one more bottle to complete the perfect perfume. It means the murder of Laura. Rick has observes that all of the victim girls were young with no seductive trace on their bodies. This murderer targeted them for a specific reason. Everyone comes to the church for help, and the church's father agrees to help. When he arrives, a man informs him that he has been caught by the murderer. Everyone in the room bursts out laughing as they hear it. Rick his does not believe this news. Worried about his daughter, he decides to leave Gross and leaves with her the next day. Jean detects the odor of Laura leaving the city. He discovers her with his abilities after following her. On the other hand, a streetwalker's dog discovers its owner's hair and clothing in Jean's room, which is known to Drood, Jean's co-worker. Police investigations uncover the clothing and hair of other girls. Riches spends the entire night in a hotel with his daughter Laura, keeping the keys to her daughter's room in his own room. Jean grabs the key from Riches's room and goes to Laura's room. The next day, Rick has enters Laura's room and weeps loudly upon seeing Laura's dead body. Jean is now successful after making the 13th bottle and blending it into his final bottle. Now Jean is arrested by the police. The story again begins where the punishment is being announced after two days. People came to watch Jean's death from afar. As they bring him out of the prison, Jean sees a chance and opens the bottle cap. As the people wait for Jean, he advances to the executioner, who emerges from the carriage dressed as a royal. The executioner kneels down and calls Jean innocent while weeping. Now Jean sprinkles perfume on a handkerchief, and everyone in the crowd gets a whiff of heaven as he waves it in the air. And everyone called him an angel. Jean regards himself as humanity's savior. And then he scatters his handkerchief amid the crowd. And, within a short period of time, everyone begins to make love without regard to age, gender, poverty, wealth, race, or color. Jean feels deep affection as she observes this. He misses that fruit seller girl. He believes that by loving her as such, he will be able to make her his own. When he thinks about it, he becomes depressed and begins to cry. Suddenly, Rick is reaches out, holding a sword in his hand, to murder Jean. But the power of perfume also makes him uncontrollable, and he begs pardon by kneeling down at his feet. When Jean realizes his error, he leaves the city. Later, the perfume's influence faded among the population. Jean now goes to his birthplace's fish market. He takes the perfume bottle from his pocket and sprays it on himself. Following that, everyone in the crowd was drawn to Jean due to the scent of perfume, and they killed him by ripping him. Jean's life comes to an end in this way. And the movie ends here.